Who's got it better than us? Nobody! soulless eyes of a killer. Hey guys, thanks for checking me out again. Uh, this is one I didn't expect to do, but I knew I was going to get this figure. I just uh, figured, since I have him, why not put up a quick little look at him. Um, this is Vernon Davis from the uh, McFarlane uh, 2013, I guess, uh, line for uh, sports picks. Um, this is the only one of the McFarlane sports picks I have. Um, I haven't really been big on the series, um, but as my uh, toy collecting becomes more and more of a serious threat to my existence, I'm starting to get into things like this as well. Um, so, all in all, he's pretty cool. Uh, show him off in just a second. Quick uh, look at the packaging real quick. I didn't expect to review this guy, so I kind of just tore open the packaging. Uh, otherwise, I'd show you what he looked like inside. Um, so, there's the... Uh, they got the hologram for the NFL official licensed product and all that nonsense. Um, let's look at the side. Nothing on the bottom. I don't believe there's anything on the bottom. I don't think there's anything I took out. And there's a look at the rest of the wave. Um, I know that people are way serious into collecting these guys. I remember when uh, I didn't have a job and I was just out looking for toys, uh, Transformers at Toys R Us all the time. There's always someone there when the store opened looking for these guys and uh, I just, I don't know, been under my radar for whatever reason but uh, not a lot of Niners in the last few uh, waves and I'm a Niners fan so uh, nuts to everyone else uh, so here's a little list of uh, the collector level I don't know, this seems a little <laughs> gimmicky to say the least um, You, the Vernon Davis in the white jersey the uh, away jersey um, is uh, apparently the uh, all-star level for collectors, which means they've only produced about 50 to 100 of them. Um, anyway, seems a little odd. I mean, it seems like this is uh, the kind of stuff that you'd see um, back in the heyday of sports cards and comic books and things like that, and they'll say, you know, limited edition collector's item, that kind of thing. Most of the things that end up being collector's item don't say collector's item on them. Anyway. Enough of that. So uh, here's Vernon Davis. So Vernon Davis, um, I don't know, seems a little odd that they do him, but I don't know a lot about this uh, sports pick line. I'm sure they've gotten around to doing Frank Gore. Um, so, but Vernon Davis, not like he's a, he's a great player, so I'm all for it. Um, but f to only have one niner, probably better that they didn't go with Alex Smith again, um, as things as luck would have it. So. Basically, these figures are uh, non-posable. Um, they come in three pieces, essentially. You have the ball. comes a little clear peg to peg into his hand. It doesn't seat come all the way in. It uh, is meant to be kind of suspended, so he's just about to catch the ball. Like that there. And then uh, he also pegs into his base. Now, the base, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing crazy about it. I know that the, some of them have a little more detail than others, but uh, nothing here. Um, and then he's got this metal peg that pegs into the base, uh, which is uh, covered in plastic at first. Uh, <laughs> not being used to the series, I tried to peg it in with the plastic on there, like a noob, and uh, it didn't work. One of the things I think is a little odd about this figure is that if you look at it at eye level, um, it seems like he's a little high. Vernon Davis, for some reason, I don't like it, but he, he likes to jump when he catches the ball. Uh, he's, <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but he, he seems to be into that. So maybe that's what he's doing here. He looks a little high, a little off kilter, but if you look at the uh, picture of him on the, on the box here, he's a little lower. He's actually a little bit more like this. Um, so I don't know if if this is not what they intended, or if this is not what they intended, or if, or what. I'm not sure how that goes down, but to me, it would look better, I think, if he were a little bit more like this. It looks a little more natural, like he's catching it in stride about to take off. 
um, than this. I'm not sure what that is. I, I really don't. I'm not sure what is supposed to be being conveyed here, like what it is he's doing. But at certain angles, it doesn't look odd. Um, but at certain angles, it really does. Like I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, so the uh, the name of the game with these figures is the paint and the sculpt. So that's the only way they can really be scrutinized, I think. Um, I'm going to take him off. So just a quick note, I painted in the uh, holes in his helmet. They were just gold, and they didn't give any sense of depth. They are molded in, so uh, I just filled them in with a little black paint. Um, let's get a look at his face. Um, he actually kind of does look like Vernon Davis. I don't know if it's going to show up very well, This uh, the way I have this thing lit. But uh, as far as other figures go, some of them, it's not really going to come across too well in the video. Some of them don't, and, you know, when it comes to action figures, a lot of times they don't end up looking like who they're supposed to look like. But uh, there's definitely some resemblance, and it's not really coming across in the video here, unfortunately. Looking at them on the screen, it doesn't really look like what I'm looking at just past the screen. So, um, But decent likeness in the face. Uh, Jersey looks about dead on, although... There is one kind of small issue, and that is right here. So the Niners have two stripes and then one kind of broken up stripe, like you see here on this arm. Um, that's just about right. It looks like the jersey may go down a little bit more than it should, but uh, no big deal. And then on this side, they just don't do that at all. Three full stripes. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about. Seems like it'd be pretty obvious. I caught it immediately. It was the first thing I noticed looking at him. But uh, I have to assume all his tattoos are moderately accurate. Uh, lots of details in them. It's very fine details for a, a relatively small figure. They got in a lot of uh, details in his tattoos, so kudos to them on that. The rest of them looks pretty accurate. I mean, he's sculpted well. He, he he looks like he should. Helmet's a little on the large size. Um, I don't know that Vernon Davis, is, his I don't, he doesn't seem like he's dwarfed by a helmet like this. He's a pretty big guy. Um, I think they could have maybe shrunk the size of, his, of it, size of his helmet just a little bit, but that's really nitpicky, and uh, it actually doesn't really bother me. You can see the Rydell on the helmet. Very small print in there. It looks very good. Um, of course, you got the Davis 85. No real texture on the jersey for the most part. There are bits and pieces uh, where it gets a little deeper, but where the material, I guess, would stretch, you don't see it as much. You can see it right here. A little, and then a little towards the bottom of his uh, jersey. Um, paint's not 100%, but it's good. It's it's uh, a lot better than it could be, and in, in <laughs> a lot better than on some figures I've seen who try to print things like that on clothing. It's uh, It seems a lot harder than you'd think. I suspect it's harder than I realize, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, the ball's uh, pretty straightforward, looks like it should. Uh, again, lots of small detail. Uh, it's one of these things, though, because the details are so small, you want to look at them. Sometimes you'll notice the imperfections a lot more, so like uh, the lining on the ball there and in the front. It's just a little off, but uh, I wouldn't really expect it to be better than that. The thing about these figures is that they're not they're not perfect, and they're, they shouldn't be really held to a standard that I might be holding them to as like uh, someone that collects. Uh, statues and things like that, but um, it's 12 bucks, so <laughs> any complaints that I have are pretty much uh, dismissed immediately because it's $12. Um, quick size comparison. Uh, I'm not sure what I have. I don't really have any other these sports figures. I have a Marvel Legends X-Force Wolverine. I figure most people probably have him. Um, and uh, Raphael, because why not? from the new Turtles line. Um, so I'll give you an idea. He's about 6 inch scale. Um, and he's pretty cool. I don't know that I could say I'd recommend him if you're into Vernon Davis and you're into figures then, or the Niners, then it's a no-brainer. I don't think you need to see this to uh, make up your mind, but um, if you're on the fence, I'd say go for it. 12 bucks is not uh, too big of an investment. You can't hate yourself for very long if you end up not liking the figure, but all in all, he's pretty good. The only uh, kind of thing I find off about him is uh, his position on this uh, 
this little slab here. I feel like you should be a little bit more like that. It'd look a little more natural, which is how they show them on the package. So I'm not really sure what to think of that. But uh, all in all, pretty good, pretty good. All right, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you are a subscriber to my channel, then uh, you should know that I've got a uh, Tumblr account that I'm thinking about switching over to a Facebook account because it's just a lot easier to manage and uh, post and uh, things like that. So I might be uh, switching over my Hirojux, uh Tumblr to Facebook. Also, I picked up uh, Agent G from the Bishojo line on sale. So uh, if this is interesting to anyone, I'm, I'm probably going to end up doing a review on her anyway just because. But uh, pretty cool looking figure, I must say. It's done well, but we'll get into that in the review. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Um, go Niners. And uh, stay tuned for more of my stuff. Thanks.